home for an evening. We're home for an evening. Spend the night in our own real beds tonight, Cat. At, at least for one night. She's really happy when I. It's so funny. It's so hard to get her back into the truck when it's time to leave. But when I pull the truck up here and she sees the motor home, she gets all happy. She knows we're here. And I can just pick her up. And she's like, oh, happy. She wants to jump out of my arms and run straight over to the RV. Wouldn't do her no good. She doesn't have no thumbs. I mean, she can't open the door very easy. A lot of things have happened today that needed to happen. I went ahead. Let me hide my everything. Got my driver's license replaced because I lost my wallet. Stopped by the bank and took care of that, which... That was really frustrating, but it got taken care of. So in 10 days or so, I'll have a new ATM card. I'll have access to my money. Hard thing is, it'll be here in 10 days. I probably won't, so however long I'm gone until I get back to get my ATM card, I'm gonna be without money, but that's okay. Something else came today from my company that is gonna be used to generate money, hopefully. Let me show you what it is. Look at that. Cocky, that should say Rick at Cocky Trucking. But it does say attention, Rick. There's something in this envelope. As I'm ripping paper open, she's hyping out and running up and down the hall. Wait for it. Makes a noise in here. I see a shadow. Whoa! Look at that. I got my own company business cards to hand out to people that may want to become truck drivers. Would you look at that? So we got this thing. If I get drivers with experience, clean driving record, to come over here, I get I get a bonus. I mean I get like money. I get I get actual money. If I hand out somebody one of my cards and they call into my company and say, yeah, it was Rick Sayer. I got his card and he told me to call. I get, I get cashola. Now this could turn into something incredible. Now, because if it works and in my head, I'm thinking to myself, wow, how could people not want to come to work for the company? This company is out of, out of 30 years of driving. You know, I've said it before. You always look for that greener pasture, the greener grass on the other side of the hill. This is the other side of the hill. I finally found it. And so I have no problem telling people, hey, you wanna to come to work? Come to work here. It's, you, you'll definitely be a lot happier. I know I am. But I get somebody to do that. I get paid. Now, if it works out, there's nothing stopping me from taking the motor home out on the road, driving across the United States and promoting this company and still getting paid for it and getting out of my truck and RVing full time. This could be my ticket to doing that or at least an assistant to doing that. Yeah. Let your success ride with us. This is so cool. <laughs> I mean, come on. Trucking's nomadic. But RV is the nomadic I want to do. And this could help. I love this company. This company is so freaking amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm just happy here. Also, last night, I did something strange. Because I want to have a clean online presence, and, and because eventually I want to make money off the internet, and, event, and kind of make a living off of it. Over the years, I've really been trying to figure out the internet and how it works. To, to help people specifically help me so there are those times where I will just google my name sometimes with a separation of the first and last name or sometimes just all is one word my first name and last name together because you get different results depending on how you do the search anyway so last night I did this and I came across something fascinating it just blew me away 
never even knew this existed. I guess it's a real magazine. IEEE Technology and Society Magazine. Look at that. I found this last night doing a search for myself. And guess what I came across? Which this camera probably can't pick up the white pages. Going through there. Starting page 16 interview. On the road with Rick Sayer and Google Glass. By the amazing Alexander Hayes. Let's go to page 16. Look, would you guys look at this? This is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Here it goes, guys. Here it goes. It's me on the road with Google. I never even knew this existed in a magazine. I'm going to have to contact them in Australia and see if I cannot have them send me a copy of this magazine. That is cool. Now, I never knew it. Honest, I never knew this existed. The things you find when you Google yourself. It's weird. Because I did an interview for a university in Australia. Cambridge, I think it was, or Cambria. So, um, back in the day when we were all doing the Google Glass thing for Google. And it was a video interview. And uh, they, Alexander, uh, he was a, he's a professor at this university over there. Um, he contacted a bunch of us, a bunch of Google Glass users, and and just asked us all these questions. And then he put them together in video form and did a some sort of stage thing on a stage with an audience and stuff. And and I knew that happened, but I never knew that my interview actually ended up in a magazine. That's that's sweet. No one notified me. I, I would I would have contacted the editors and and said, hey man, send me a couple hundred of those things. That that's what I did when the truck driver magazine, uh, uh, what was the name? Road King magazine did an interview with me. Uh, I got I grabbed every, every I went to one truck stop and they were free at the door when you walk into the TA truck stops and Petro truck stops. I just grabbed stacks of those things. And I was sending them to family and friends and uh, leaving them here at work, you know, hoping that it might give me a ones up with the higher ups, the food chain of my company saying, oh, yeah, hey, one of our drivers is in a truck driver magazine. I thought that would have been cool. Didn't really help. I, I you know, you, you try and when you have that 15 minutes of fame, it's really cool because like. I remember like driving across the state of Texas and somebody going, Hey, Rick, Rick. I go, I don't know this guy. Yeah. I read you. I read that article about you in the magazine, you know, and then it's kind of cool. 15 minutes of fame is kind of cool, but it goes by very, very fast. Sometimes you don't even know what happened like this. I didn't even know what happened. I wonder what it would be like if I went to Australia, if people actually read that magazine, if they would know me from that article. I don't, you know what, no matter what, none of this helps my YouTube channel grow. It just doesn't. I'm ready to get out of here. She's just kind of hanging out up front, relaxing. You look at her. I know she does not want to get back in that truck. But I'm probably not going to be leaving here until about 6 o'clock this evening. So there's a couple things I need to get done before I head out. One of them is mess with my generator. Now I have been away for so long and have not used this. God, I gotta take it all apart. Give me one second. I had to fire this bad boy up. The battery was totally dead on it. I haven't used it in so long. The battery was dead on it. Luckily, just luckily. 
it only took one pull on the rope to fire it up. Now that'll charge the battery up. But I can't believe after all this time, the battery's dead. It only took one pull to start it. These Predator generators are, they're great. I've noticed, even though I get keep it covered, it still gets dirty up front though. Let this thing idle for a little bit, charge that battery. I don't want to have to pull it every time. There's a few things about my motorhome that I still don't know. There's, there's things I need to learn. A lot of YouTube viewing is in my future, I could already tell. Like, okay, so I have a gasoline RV. The motor is right down here. It's in the middle of a doghouse in between the driver's seat and the passenger seat. It sits right down in here. Now, if I take that off, I got full access to the motor. That's awesome. But what kind of sucks about it is everything, all your access is there. Like... In a normal vehicle, you lift the hood, you have your belts and everything, your radiator up front, your belts and fans, and then your motor in the back. Here, I have a little cross space to get to everything. So if my belt breaks, let's say, let's say I break a belt, a fan belt, how do I fix that? My hands, even though I have girly sized wrists and hands, they're still way too big, I believe, to get down in there and replace. There has, mechanics have to, have an easy way to do that. I need to learn the mechanics way to change the belts and all that stuff on this motor. It's There's gotta be an easy way to do it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and purchase some new belts. And while I'm in the safe harbor of our property here at work, I think I might do it on my next trip home. Just break down, grab a couple beers, grab some tools, grab some belts and tear it down and try and put some new belts on just to see if I can do it. Because what happens if that happens out on the road and I don't know how to do it? I mean, in a normal vehicle, I can do it. And I know how it's supposed to be done, but when the space is limited, how do you do it? In my mind, I was thinking the world may never know, but no, we're gonna find out one day. Thing has been running for about 15 minutes now. Let's shut it off it is off now let's put it back on start probably eco off no no I don't like that hmm that battery must like totally be gone do what, what noise is that what what noise is that oh sciatic nerve thought i heard a tractor a lawnmower coming this way they can't mow the lawn back here while i'm working on this well i guess i'm just gonna go ahead and put this away make it nice and clean until my next trip home Guess I'm gonna have to purchase a new battery. Because I got the two year full replacement, anything goes wrong with it warranty. They may, they may even give me a new battery. I'm gonna go ahead, get the cat ready, get her in the truck a couple minutes early, let her get comfortable of being back in the truck after sitting in here for at least the last 15 hours. She is not gonna be happy. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video with a teaser of a video to come. So what happened was, check this out. Last night, I'm sitting here and I don't use Facebook very often, but I do have Facebook, so you guys can follow me there. Not as Nomadic Hippie, but as Rick Sayer. And uh, there's two accounts, so make sure you're friending me at the right one. Same with Instagram. Um, so I'm, I'm going through Facebook and you know, the first couple lines you go down, you go, in on this day back in five years ago or something you see a post from the past and then you start to get into the stuff that you recently posted and then there was a little little box that said facebook dating facebook dating okay what is this so i clicked it 
and it specifically said will not try you know it, it won't try and, and hook you up with people that are already in your friends list is specifically meant for dating Facebook dating now I'm not looking to date anybody I'm I'm, I'm having a, a struggle taking care of myself but what does this entail so I'm thinking on my next video I'm gonna sign up for it take you guys along for the ride and see what kind of girls out there in Facebook land would actually date someone like me I bet they're all like Ukrainian models Brazilian movie stars I'm sure it's people like that right we're gonna find out anyway until the next time when I start recording that stuff I'll see you then please remember to like comment share subscribe and I will see you guys from out on the road from somewhere in the country love you guys peace out everybody